Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the 101 Dalmatians collection from my brand Pampered Polishes. This collection was suggested in my Pampered Polishes Facebook group, so if you're not following that, make sure you are. I am kind of taking on suggestions that other people want to see as opposed to just what I want to make, kind of doing a conjunction. And right now it's more of a Disney theme where it's definitely something that I want to make, but I also want to make something that everybody else is interested in as well. So 101 Dalmatians sparked my interest and that's why we are here today. These will be releasing on March 12th. They will be $10 each, March 12th at noon Eastern time. I never say that, but it's always noon Eastern time. Um, they will be $12 each, and if something sells out, I do not plan on restocking that. I know I say that for most of my collections, and then something sells out the same day, and um, I feel really bad, and I get a bunch of emails about things being missed out on. So I end up restocking, um, but I don't plan on restocking anything from today's video. So we do have six polishes in this collection to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have 101, and this one is a stark white curly base, and it's got a subtle purple shimmer as well as a variety of black metallic glitter. So here's our first coat of 101. This one is relatively opaque here on this first coat, kind of typical of my white curly formulas. If you've tried them before, it has the same opacity. You do get a good amount of glitter out without having to do any kind of fishing or swirling or holding the bottle upside down. I did get full opacity in two coats. This purple shimmer that's in here is subtle, but it's beautiful. You are going to want top coat to finish this off because it does dry with some texture because of this glitter. And removal does take a little bit of scrubbing, so there are two coats. Next up we have DeVille, and this one is a clear to black thermal loaded with a metallic red flake. Here's our first coat of DeVille. This one is a thermal, and when it's warm, which I was at this time, it is clear, so you can definitely still make out my nail line, but when it's cold, it's black, and um, I was happy with the black that this was in two coats, but depending on how picky you are, you might want to go in for three. A great amount of flakes come out. They do appear on your nail, whether it's in the cold or warm state. This will dry with a little bit of texture and removal is easy. Up next we have Fools Aren't Born and this one is a black holographic base. This one also has a red shimmer as well as holographic micro flakes. Here's our first coat of Fools Aren't Born. You can see on this first coat that red shimmer standing out really, really nicely. The formula, I believe, on this one is good. Not too thick or too thin, no running, pulling, or staining, and nice and holographic when it's wet, but it does dry more holographic than when it's wet. I got full opacity here in two coats. I'd recommend going in for a top coat just to make this hollow pop, that shimmer pop, and everything stand out nicely. Nothing in here will dry textured, and removal is easy. So there are two coats of Fools Aren't Born. Up next we have Roadster and this one is a brick red cream and it's full of matte black flakes. Here's our first coat of Roadster. This one is very opaque here on this first coat. I did do a wear test of this one as well as I do with all of mine. I didn't personally have any staining without a base coat though I don't recommend that. This has a lot of red pigment in it, so I do recommend going in with that base coat just to prevent that, just in case. I got full opacity in two coats. You are gonna want top coat to finish this off. These matte black flakes can dry with some texture and removal will be easy. So there are two coats of Roadster. Next up we have Seeing Spots, and this one is a clear-based Aurora topper. The Aurora in here goes from a red to a green, and this one is also packed with black micro glitter. I'm just showing you today one coat of Seeing Spots over a nude sheer. You are going to want top coat to finish this off. It is going to dry with some texture because of this glitter, and it will also be on the more difficult side of things to remove because of that glitter. You could build this up to opacity by sponging or three coats. And lastly for today, we have Where Are the Furs, and this one is a smoky gray holographic base with a hint of red to gold to green ghost aurora flakes. 
And here's our first coat of Where Are the Furs. This one is pretty opaque here on this first coat, not totally opaque and not totally even, so I am gonna go in for it too. I recommend working in thinner coats if you do want to see those flakes at the end of your manicure. If you go in too thick, you will probably cover them up. You are gonna want top coat. It will help that hollow stand out to its full potential and those flakes pop just a little bit more and removal will be easy. So there are two coats of Where Are the Furs. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.